considered to be one of the rising global health concern which threatens effective prevention and treatment of an increasing range of infections caused by bacteria, parasites, viruses and fungi. Antimicrobial resistance is a complex problem that affects humans as well as animals. You are watching NAFDAQ and your health. I am Susan West Braniff. Antimicrobial resistance is a broad term for resistance in different types of microorganisms including resistance to antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal and antiparasitic drugs. This could occur due to inappropriate use of medicines, especially in livestock farming. Well, a package today will enlighten you on antimicrobial resistance, the role of NAVDAC in this regard and much more. Don't go away. It is NAVDAC and your health. Antimicrobial resistance is a major challenge in livestock production and global public health. Uh, antimicrobial resistance is a scientific term that is used to explain how the microorganism that cause uh, various uh, infectious diseases resist the antimicrobial agent such as antibiotics that were given in the course of treatment. So it is now becoming a very global uh, issue that the microorganisms are no longer responding to the conventional antimicrobial agents that are available in the, in the market around the globe. So this, the implication is that if there's an outbreak of any diseases, then there are no any medication to now treat those. It means there will be continuous deaths of both humans and animals. The misuse of antimicrobial agents has informed the recent rise in antimicrobial resistance. Because of indiscriminate use of antibiotics to treat these infections in animals, these microbes now develop a system of resisting the antibiotics. Many people, especially farmers, they have antibiotics in their stores. They use antibiotics inadequately. They don't follow the normal regimen, like for antibiotics to be effective, you, there, is a, there is a way you will treat it. And the number of days, if you, if you don't complete it, you are disposing that animal to danger of bacterial resistance. In the regulation and control of antimicrobial agents, NAVDAC registers the products and monitors the utilization of these products. The agency also provided alternatives to avoid misuse and abuse of antimicrobials. Antimicrobial resistance is a global issue. Therefore, at our hand, we're controlling the availability of these anti antibiotics and antimicrobial agents so that these products will be in the custody of professionals that will be able to handle it properly administer it according to recommended uh, dosage and thereby ensuring that the use is not only that is legitimate but it serves the required purpose so that abuse of these antimicrobes will not be in place. Now, in achieving this, we have put in place mechanism whereby um, antibiotics, for instance, that I are no longer used for growth promotion. And alternatives have been preferred. Uh, people can use enzyme, they can use probiotics, they can use organic acid, and then they can even use um, other uh, stimulants apart from antibiotics. Now, when enzymes is being applied to feed, and um, the feed is rightly composed of good quality and safety, then there, there is no need, the efficiency of the feed is guaranteed. Antimicrobial resistance pose a threat to animal and human health. When this microbes develop a resistance, the danger it poses is that a time will come when no drug will be effective on them. 
if a man consumes animals that have been infected, that have bought these anti-resistant microbes, and they eat it in their in them, it becomes resistant again in man. And the same, that resistant uh, microbes will reject the drugs that are supposed to be effective on them. We have so much concern in NAPDAC about it, and that is why NAPDAC, in the first place, they made a, a regulation that animal feed should not be incorporated with antibiotics. Though in some, in some conditions whereby the animal is sick, he cannot take medication itself, it will be needed to be in their food. So those incorporations are done by professionals by professionals and it must be by prescription. When um, a disease resistance occurs and then um, the animal find we have the disease could not be treated, the animal dies. And for man, when such organism, especially the zoonotic organism, cross to man and the drug available cannot equally treat it in man, then we know the consequence of that. So the earlier we join the world, to stop this trend of antimicrobial resistance, the better. To curb the misuse and abuse of antimicrobial agents, NAVDAC organizes workshops for farmers to create awareness. The, the agency is engaging in public enlightenment, telling the farmers the consequence of their action if they don't follow the laid down regulations. We're equally enlightening the professionals, that the professionals should not be lazy in doing their work, uh, when a vet is called to come and administer or appraise an anim uh, animal on a farm, they should book appointment and honor the appointment. Because when they don't honor appointments, the farmer will feel discouraged and may be tempted to want to administer drugs by themselves. These, there are instances of this. Then the agency is equally uh, talking to practice regulatory bodies, like Veterinary Council of Nigeria, Nigeria Institute of Animal Science, and other um, professional bodies to play their own role too, because um, administration of drug, prescription of drug, and is basically practice problem. NAVDAC is not relenting. We are doing sensitization seminars, workshops to farmers in particular in different places. We are educating people. And the real distance is growing. We are afraid that in the next 20 years, there might be no drug again effective on any antibacterial infection. And that is why we are serious about it. The World Health Organization, Organization for Animal Health and other stakeholders have come up with five strategic objectives to address antimicrobial resistance. One of the objectives is to increase awareness among the populace on the danger of this antimicrobial resistance. The other strategic objective is to strengthen the knowledge of the various of the farmers, of the practitioners, on how best to go about these things and how best to address and also come up with a research on the best possible way to address this uh, infection. So the other strategic objective is to reduce the incidence of even the infections that comes through maybe good sanitation, hygiene, and others. So uh, the other strategic objective is to optimize the use of the antimicrobial agent, thus the prudent use of this antimicrobial. The other strategic objective is to come up with some sustainable means of alternatives to the antibiotics, such as vaccines. So these are some of the strategic global objectives which we are now adopting it at the national level. Reading the labels, adhering to directives for use and observing withdrawal period will help to avoid antimicrobial resistance. Farmers are advised to engage the services of professionals to ensure judicious use. Uh, we want to advise farmers to ensure that uh, before they administer drug, for any reason to the animals, they should first of all consult their vet doctor, let there be prescription, and then when the drug is being brought for them to use, they should take pain to read through 
the label of the drug, note the withdrawal period, the route of administration, and then the quantity to be administered. And they should try as much as possible to adhere strictly with the instruction. They should not go with the idea of my friend used so so so, I should use it. It may it it is not good, it won't work. Now, outside that, I want to advise pharma to, to note that uh, the use of antibiotics indiscriminately is bad. And if anybody is going to be victim of anti antibiotic resistance or antibiotic residue in their animal product, the farmer is the first victim. Because when residue issue happens, farmers consume their product. And if resistance happens and the animal could no longer be treated, the farmer will lose their animal. The first person to suffer the loss is the farmer at the boat end. So farmers should please cooperate with the agency, ensure that they follow the lay down procedure, what, uh, administer drug on their farm according to regulations so that there won't be loss of animal which is their asset and that there won't be health hazard to the public and to themselves. On the whole, the approach to antimicrobial resistance is the one that is best described under the concept of the want health because it involves animal, humans and environment. The animals, because of how some farmers use antibiotics on giving to the or either the injectable inject the animal, they don't wait for the uh, withdrawal period, they slaughter it. In poultry farms, some will be continuously be adding this antimicrobial agent in the feet of the animals. So that will lead to a high residual effect of this antimicrobial. And of course, when the food is processed, it goes to the human table. So that's where the human comes in. And I mean, between the humans and the animals, the environment, the animals that takes in these uh, feeds with antimicrobial agents, some of them are excreted. So the environment is now will also come in. So it, is an, it needs a multifaceted approach to address the antimicrobial resistance. It's not something for, a, for one profession or one agency. Antimicrobial resistance is a global problem that requires concerted efforts of all stakeholders. However, NAVDAC is not relenting in its efforts to ensure effective regulation and control of antimicrobials as well as appropriate use. Okafo, Okafo, now for you and this your adult education. Every day, there's also book, 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 eh, uncle. This one will be anyhow book. Look, this one, now label instruction. Where did the agrochemical whereby to take treat my farm from all this yama yama and disease? Now you can't read like person on go write it. This one pass exam. This one, now matter of life and death. Ah, yes. Before we use any agrochemical product, make we make sure say we study the instruction well, well. Mm. Before we use them, even the one where they take food for beans or maize or any kind of crop, we suppose to read the instruction well, well, so that we go no waiting and they come with holding period. With holding period. Yes, that one at time where we say we go wait before we go feed, sell the crop or chop them. Even get for animal like chicken, cow, fish, or even he goats. Man. Yes, we supposed to study the manual so that we go no waiting. Then they call withdrawal period. Withdrawal period. <laughs> that na time where we supposed to allow the animal make the chemical with the body come out finish before we go catch them, chop them or sell them. See, make I tell you, person we know the follow instruction. He no fit do exporter importer for this our farm business. Oh. Yes. See, all these yama yama disease with they everywhere. Like uh, cancer, kidney failure. Now, because people know they study the instruction, where they did the container body. Don't fear, country people. Make you not use your own hand. Key yourself. Oh. Make you make sure say you they study the instruction where they did any agrochemical product you buy before you use them. Oh. NAFDAC don't ban some agrochemicals where it cause disease for we body. Make you they use only agrochemicals where NAFDAC don't approve.
This is to inform the farmers, veterinarians and the general public that the underlisted veterinary drugs have been prohibited for using food animal. Anybody found contravening this rule will be sanctioned. Chloramphenicol, Melachet Grain, Carbadox, Furazolido, Nitrofural, Clopromazine, Stilbens, Olaquindox, Dimetridazole, Ipronidazole, Metronidazole, Ronidazole, Nitrofural. For more information on the program or any case of fake, substandard, or unwholesome regulated products, please report to the nearest NAVDAC office or send an SMS to the following numbers 081 3363 or 081 1741 you can visit our website on www.navdac.gov.ng. Follow us on Facebook at Navdac Nigeria, Twitter at Navdac Agency, and watch our videos on YouTube. Our time is up, and I must thank you for watching and urge you to keep a date with us next week. I am Susan West Branif. Goodbye.